We finna cook. The posse is in here. First off, we wanna drop those air horns for Monopoly in our absence. <laughs> you know she be cooking. Always out of town, catching flights, trying to get it right. That's right. We got here. You're here with the good old. <laughs> the- yeah. You know what's the motherfucking joke? We got here the wild child. Wild child. Uh, tick tock, you know. That might be a positive vibe for today. <laughs> we in here, right? And we got here the good old Scorpion King. Get over here! Scorpion King. Talk about it, my guy. Hashtag barbecue meal, dude. We surviving. We surviving. Velvet vibes, pimp case. I still don't understand that shit. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> y'all reach out to him if y'all need explanation. <laughs> <laughs> Going forward. So, Tim, uh, I think, uh, first off, I'm going to say this. We don't have to. Y'all know what the fuck is going on this week. So, just shut. I'm going to go ahead and fire these off because you know what the fuck is going on. Everybody been talking about it, but your favorite podcast ain't talked about it yet. So we're going to talk about it. Before we get to it, I do want to know, have y'all heard about NBA player Nick Young? What about I, I know about him. I haven't heard about him. You heard about him kicking a fan in a penis? No, I ain't heard that. <laughs> I definitely didn't hear that. I ain't heard that. A fan tried to take a picture with him. Oh, wow. Take that L. He don't want to take the picture. Oh. So he grabbed a man by the shoulders and kicked him in the penis. <laughs> so who are you learning this? So oh, wait, who are you? What, ta- <laughs> what team did he play for again? I think he was on the Nuggets, right? I thought he was on the Lakers Ooh, at one point Lakers. in time. Lakers at Lakers. one point. Oh, my God. Don't get me lying. Mm. I think he is a Nugget right now. I think he either used to be a Nugget or is now a Nugget. I think he is now a Nugget. Uh, I, may, I don't know I if I like it before for sure. I ain't been following sports enough to know this, but the article I read said this was his best defense all season. Uh, yeah, because <laughs> he was with uh, Sacramento. He was with uh, the Warriors at one point. He's a warrior. Yeah, he's a I remember that. And then um, I, I really do think he's a Nugget. He acting like a warrior. I know that. Kicking out <laughs> after he kicked the fan in the penis, he took the fan's cell phone. So he can't, so, cause the guy took a picture anyway without his permission. Yeah. He kept the phone. So they call him an assault and a robbery. Damn. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I thought, yeah, I thought, you know, I thought you would call it a theft or a petty theft or something. They called it a robbery. Damn. Like robbery, like, he didn't, I mean, he broke it. I mean, they just tell him to replace it. Yeah. <laughs> That's yeah, crazy. every every source I was like, maybe this is wrong, but every article I went to it said the robbery by Nick Young kicks Span in the penis and robs him of his cell phone. Didn't a rapper do that too at one point in time? I want to say Kevin Gates did something like that. I, don't know. I remember uh, Kanye had uh, snatched a camera from somebody and threw it on the ground years ago. Mm. To be honest, I don't see nothing wrong with it. Like. I, if you put a camera, like, of course, I'm gonna take, if I'm of that status, I'll take pictures with my fans. But if I'm with my family and we're eating and you popping up and stuff, I also will be like, damn, I'm trying to eat at this time. Yeah. Yeah, not, not saying I will never take pictures. I'm, I'm down with pictures, autographs, all that. 
But if you catch me like I'm trying to run to the bathroom or something, I am also human, and I also have moments where I'm like, hey, not right, just not right now. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I mean, it could have been him. I don't know. They lost him out or whatever. Several reactions. Wow. I'm trying to take the picture. So they went with this. <laughs> They don't do that. You got to catch him on a winning day. Yeah, catch him on a winning day. Catch him when he, <laughs> when he blazed up, you know what I'm saying, or something. Like, I don't, I don't know, but catch him on something different. So watch this. Catch him without no design or something. Right? <laughs> that old designer on me. So watch this. We finna get right to the shit. We kind of mm-hmm. t- talked about this before. So I ain't going to stay on this part too long about it. You know what the fuck is going on. Are you still listening to R. Kelly? After. We, we've said, originally we said, yeah. Has that changed? Bro, I'm not going to sit here and say that I'm going to turn it off. Like, <laughs> I'm not going like, to turn it off. So I'm going to say, yeah. So you still playing? Yeah. And Scorpion King. Man, I've been playing R. Kelly all week. I ain't going to sit here and lie to you. Every time I get out of work. Don't know why I kill it. I heard there's a spike in his in his in his listeners. Yeah. Yeah. There's a spike in, in, yeah. in his in his channels and stuff because of his yeah. streams are still Yeah, they, they they I think it's more because of uh you gotta think, not saying that we don't know who R. Kelly are it is, but there's a bunch of new kids, younger kids. Right. Because I was listening to Breakfast Club the other day and DJ Envy was saying that his son was like, Who is that? Yeah. I know that sounds terrible to us, right? But you know, our kids may say things like, "Who is Tupac? Who is that?" They don't know who that is. Mm. So people are hearing these stories. So they that's kids, kids, please. Yeah. So they're going, <laughs> pull it up. They're like, "I want to see who this is. I want to see can we live without this." So they're probably listening because they're curious. So let's see what is he talking about in this music. Yeah, I'm, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna turn it off. <laughs> I'm just saying, there's a, there's quite a bit of music out there that's saying, "Hey, if I just." Turn off R. Kelly um, because of what he did. You know, that's I feel like I'm taking a good part of the music that I I know. Not even that. You taking the whole good part of R and B music alone. True. I mean, to me personally, if it weren't for R. Kelly, most of the R and B singers wouldn't even be heard of right now. You know, like he said, a lot of folks were made off his music. <laughs> He a motherfucker though too. Babies were made out of him right now because he dropped a song like a couple of days ago. For real? Sure. Yeah. I didn't know that. I might listen to it. Something like check it out. Like y'all was made off of me or something. I remember when he did that long, like last year. Uh, I seen a video of that with him and um Michael Blackson. And he he making a new album. But sources are saying that they think that he's gonna run to Africa. Because the case, they're, they're looking at opening the case back up. Yeah. Georgia and Chicago, I think they have a few. Uh, they're getting all their poop in the group so they can open up a case against them. Yeah. To be honest, I ain't going to lie. He going to do that time. I, th- I think he going to do that time. I mean, yeah. Because the world is in an outrage right now. So and then on top of that, you got a lot of his former co-workers and stuff. He's working for him, telling off on him and everything. And, and on top of that, I mean, it's a new day and age, too. I think they, yeah. you get held accountable for some uh, shit. Yeah. Obviously, Bill Cosby. Don't exactly. Know. He 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 done went through his, after thirty year uh thirty year of uh, what he did. So mm-hmm. I'm I'm definitely gonna say that if that case is definitely back open, then R. Kelly will do that time. I mean, it's it's just what it is. That's what we got in 2019 now. Yeah, he Boy, don't, he don't he's serve. 2019. And, and and the thing about it too, like, it's crazy because I do try to look at stuff from the opposite side. Right. So the people who saying they not listening to his music no more, I understand it. I get that. Yeah. I get it. Cause the thing about it, only thing I feel like is I want to separate myself from that. I do listen to his music. Oh yeah. But I do want to separate myself from. I've been seeing a lot of posts on Facebook, people saying. If you listen to R. Kelly, I'm gonna delete you. Yeah, I've been saying I'm gonna send a lot of it too. Uh, you don't support our <laughs> women. How could you not support our women? First off, very clear that I make it very clear. I support our women. I would never do nothing crazy like that. I'm not for that. I actually think he's guilty. I don't even think he's innocent. 
So I'm not the one saying. People are saying all of these people are lying on him. It's a they just trying to get money. Some of that may be true. I really think he did it. I really think he's a freaking nasty creep. The reason I still listen to the music is because the music, one, they, they say like, oh, if you listen to music, that means you support rape. No. No, no, no. That's why I feel like this is a time we have, we gotta make ourselves clear. Why, why do you still listen to it? Right. It's a serious topic. So I, I'm listening to it because I like the music. Now let, let it be, be this very transparent. If the song said, bring those kids over here, I'm trying to bump and grind. Or if anything of that nature? Oh no, we're not. I know people say, "Oh, the music was inspired off him writing to kids." That's not what the lyrics are saying. Right? You remind me of my Jeep. If he say you remind me of Power Wheels, I don't want to watch it. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. If he say keep it on the down low for without at the daycare, I don't want. I don't want to hear that. Yeah, that's true. You know, just like you know, just like Frank Ocean. Like when Frank Ocean came out as gay. Like I, I heard that there are songs that where he is clearly talking to a dude, but most of the songs was just like it's a good song, and he's just talking to whoever you're with. Mm-hmm. If I hear him say "Come rub your beard on me," then I'm gonna turn that shit off. I don't mm-hmm. want to hear it. It is question. You know, so he did make it where you could listen and you could apply that for what you like. If you fuck with kids, you're a fucking sicko. <laughs> <laughs> there, there's no other way to say it. And then, and then the. Uh, I know Scorpion King said he wa- he watched it. I watched it, and I know you heard a, a great deal. And then think about it: we know, we know, we've been knowing this. Yeah, it wasn't like it was a secret. Like, exactly. Like he didn't go to trial for it. The it first like time he didn't get a- acquitted. Like it wasn't like none of that didn't happen. Um, I heard a few interesting things. What did you hear? So <laughs> from, and I could be wrong. I'm just letting yeah. You know what I heard, yeah. I'm saying buzz because, like I said, I didn't watch it. Go for it. Um, I heard that there was a, that when he was doing the little girl, I heard there was another woman involved. Oh, it was, oh, yeah. lo- it was a lot of them involved. Right? So, yeah. yeah. So why, he was doing a lot of threesomes. Threesome, right? Yeah. So why wasn't these women charged? So yeah. if you're going to charge somebody oh, with I never even thought about it like rape, yeah. then if this woman's involved too, why not charge her? See, this is the weird thing. They, they keep saying that he was making them do it. And I, I know you don't have to have a gun to make somebody do something, but I never heard of a gun or somebody was bondage or nothing like that. They just keep saying he made me do it. Now, the girl, other woman that was involved, she's an adult now, but she said at that time she was underage. And the other girl, she said she thought that that girl was 16. Yeah. She said afterwards the girl told her she was 14. But still, if she was 16, that's still underage. Also, another thing that happened in the, uh, in the, what you call it, in the documentary, people, a lot of people are getting mad at other people to say, what about this person? What about this person? But that's actually a, a valid question. What about everybody? There are so many people involved now. I think what, what people are really afraid of, this shit gonna be like that Takashi shit. When Kelly go down, everybody going. Everybody, everybody associated going. with him, bodyguards and uh, you know. Everybody producers. going down. With a him. lot of other people gonna go down behind this because a lot of people was involved. There was somebody on there that said, "Yes, I am the one who forged the uh, paperwork for him to make." Oh uh, yeah, I I heard that on the Breakfast Club. He was there. He and he said it. He said it. On yeah. there. I don't know what made him want to put that out there. Maybe no. I think it's just a show. Right, but you gonna have to hold up for that. Yeah, that's that's my thing, man. It's the it's the hey, if I, I agree one hundred percent, if I'm going down, and everybody that knew what I was doing, how I was doing it, I literally are are literally the same thing, like it's the same thing. Not even that, not even that. I mean, you know, you got some artists that did songs with him, messing around with them girls too. I you know, okay. you know, he's trying to bring Usher down now. Oh yeah, with the tweet. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I don't know. I don't, cause I know, uh, it is true that R. Kelly cannot read, but they say he can't read well. He can read. Yeah. So I don't know if these tweets are real that they're saying he's making, but I, a lot of stuff that he's saying, he is saying that stuff. Like he, that is true that he tried to make that surviving lives page on Facebook, which they pull that down. 
He tried to make a page where he was exposing everybody on the opposite No, side. he said he gonna make a website. Yeah, he wanted to make a website. He gonna make. A, he was trying to make yeah, a website. Still do that. But the, he made a Facebook page. And yeah. Facebook shut that shit down. They shutting all this shit down. Every time, even if somebody posted, they shut it down because they were like, they don't want no part of it. This t- called this zero tolerance. No, this nothing that they not condoning all that. Yeah, of course. And what you call it, if you're a business or a company, you're going to separate yourself from that completely because right. you don't want nothing to do with it. So it's, it's one of those things where like, oh, y'all going to get him, but he can't, he can't get y'all. Yeah. No, yeah, no, pretty no, much. No tag backs. Yeah. No tag backs. No tag backs. No tag no backs. Tag backs. They, they block it. And I mean, and then on top of it, you know, you got all these survivors that's coming out and telling it. But then if you look at their side of this, their story, you know, I heard on the Breakfast Club and one of them, that legend that um, stole the tape. She was saying that R. Kelly asked her, "Is it okay for her parents?" To, for uh, asked her parents, "Was it okay for her to um, come to Chicago?" Mm-hmm. So she lied and told him and said, "Yeah, it's they don't mind." But she actually didn't tell her parents because she was like she was in love with R. Kelly. Everybody was saying. It's R. Kelly. You know what I'm saying? You can't say no to R. Kelly. Bob Piper. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But you heard about what that term means. Yeah, I found it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. He, he got a lot of followers. Yeah, like, so. yeah they said a Pied Piper was a guy that would play the flute in a village and yeah. kids followed. Yeah. He would take them somewhere. And he's been so, rocking with that name ever since. So R. Yeah. R. Kelly been an arrogant motherfucker about this because he, he's pretty much been doing everything that says, yes, I did that. Right. He, he fucked around with Aaliyah. People knew about it. People knew that he married Aaliyah. And at one point had her pregnant, had her do an abortion or whatever. Yeah. Right. Another crazy thing about that. Now I watched the, and, and for all, all y'all listeners, it, it's a real good watch. Um, Nick Cannon has a podcast type of thing called Cannon's Class. Okay. He sat with Dame Dash. Okay. You know, Dame Dash used to date Aaliyah. Yeah. Yeah. And Dame Dash was talking about, he said when he asked Aaliyah, you know, what happened, Aaliyah would just get all emotional. It's like, he's a bad man. I don't want to talk about it. That's all she would say. He's a bad man. So she, she never told him anything, but Dame Dash did something that I liked. They were kept, Nick Cannon kept pointing the finger at Dame Dash and he was like, you worked with him because you own Rockefeller and Jay Z and R. Kelly had a, a album together. Yeah. They showed a little snippet of the video, that Fiesta video. He was like, show me at what point in the video. Am I with R. Kelly? And they kept showing scenes of Jay Z and R. Kelly standing side by side, mm-hmm. and then they would show Dame Dash like on another scene by himself. He was like, "I've been had problems with him, not just now." He was like, I, "I've been not working with him." He said, "I wasn't associated with that album." Mm-hmm. He said, "I'm not in the credits. I wasn't. I didn't do, do nothing with it. I didn't produce it or anything." He said he just let them do it. He said, "To be honest, that was another thing that was a problem with the fall of Rockefeller." Because he said they were wanting to do that and everybody was looking at him like he was crazy. Like, why you don't want to get on this? This is a great moment. And he was like, I don't want nothing to do with it. I respect him for that because he he been having this opinion. Nick Cannon, he asked him, did you know about it? Nick Cannon tried to say, well, I didn't know. And he was like, no, you knew. Because when Gigolo came out, that was at the height of, of when that shit was going on. Mm-hmm. Right. And then he, Nick Cannon was like, well, you know, I, I, I just, uh, I, I just, uh, he was like, you knew what was going on. He was like, I didn't see no little girls at the video. So I, and he was like, let's just tell the truth. You knew it was going to be a hot song. You knew you had Kells and you wanted to make the song. And he finally broke down and was like, yeah, yeah. You know, you know, see the thing about it, a lot of people, Lady Gaga said she apologized for working with him. Everybody saying they apologize. They treat R. Kelly like Trump. You know, a lot of rappers, have, uh, there's a whole lot of rappers that have like pictures with Trump, Snoop right. Dogg and stuff. And they're like, I didn't know who's going to be like that. So they all apologizing and stuff. Now with this, everybody's apologizing for working with R. Kelly when they knew exactly what he was doing. And you still made the song. <laughs> still, got your, still got your money. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So you know, you know what was correct. And then with that, I know I seen a, what was it on Instagram or Snapchat with Tank. Tank said, you know, he apologized for working with R. Kelly. You know, they did the um, remix of Back to Sleep with oh, yeah, Chris right. Brown. Everybody apologized. And then they were like, he should 
They said he said strip the name, the title of King of R and B, because what he doing, he's not the King of R and B no more. I saw some about that too. That yeah. everybody was just calling him the King of R and B. Yeah. Now he in the water, hot water. They sliding to the left. They stepping in the name of love or in the love of hate. In the name of hate, whatever. whatever. <laughs> yeah. But uh, I don't know. I I think it's like a lot of that mess is is crazy. The fact that you know, once again. I don't condone it. I don't think he's innocent. But some people are saying they, you know, he's lying and stuff. I, like everybody's lying. I do think it's crazy that R. Kelly's wife has a video with her listening to R. Kelly's music. I don't know if you saw that circulating. Yeah, that's on Instagram. Well, it's all on YouTube. They said the video. It turns out that they said the video was old. It wasn't a new video, but it was still after her and Kelly. R. Right. Kelly was together. So the, my thing is. Y'all are telling everybody to not listen to R. Kelly. And you was a victim and you listening to it. Right. I'm trying if, if we come not if we're gonna band together and not listen, we supposed to do this together. You was up you was one of the people locked so called locked up in the house of listening. Yeah. And then you still listening to it. She's, I know I know the video old, but it, it ain't that old. But she says she got to rock with him because he family. That's her baby daddy, so That's wild. There ain't, there's that's exactly nothing what she do. said in the video. <laughs> <laughs> she said they still she said even though they not together, they still family. That's her baby daddy. So Did she y'all gonna, he wrote bump bump bump. I didn't know he wrote um You are not alone. You are not alone for Michael Jackson. No, okay. I didn't know that. It, it's some it's some songs that I looked up because I, I said, okay, cool. If everybody gonna get rid of R. Kelly, what we know what R. Kelly sings. I was like, what other stuff has he done that we don't realize that, you know, he also is associated with that. And in some songs, once you hear it, you can hear it. Like when you hear, you are not yeah. alone. I'm like, I was like, that's clear. Kills. Yeah, that's clearly R. Kelly. When I heard, I, and I just read this earlier, that he wrote Bump, Bump, Bump. I don't know. For B2K. I was like, wow. I was like, I can hear that. Yeah. R. Kelly. And then this one fucked me up. R. Kelly wrote Fortunate for Maxwell. Wow. So we gonna get rid of I don't know. That's a <laughs> That's a <laughs> I'm so glad I can hear it. I can hear it. They said he wrote boom like an eight oh eight for black. Boom like an eight oh eight. I was like, man. I mean, we gonna be fucked up, man. Like, like it's a lot of stuff. And I wonder if artists that feature with him are they gonna no longer perform those songs? Is yeah. Diddy if Diddy goes on tour, is he not gonna sing? Man, that? you got a lot. You got a lot of features though. You look at it. Diddy is Cassidy gonna sing. You're not gonna the hotel. Chris Brown. If you wanna go to my hotel. Oh, you gotta, you know how to hit me. You gotta look at, um, Tyrone and Shanti. They did a song together. He did a song with, um, the remix of Bump, Bump, Bump with B2K. Who, R. Kelly? Yeah. He was he, on the remix? Or yeah, he, oh. he did the remix and he was on it. You oh, gotta wow. look at Young Jeezy, Go yeah, Get Us. I saw Marion putting his apology up too, so. Go get us. Yeah, th- hey, that's my thing. Trap all day, me all night. This is the life of a, the life of a, go get us, go get us, go get us. He did a song, oh, what's that song? Um, he did, uh, they said he would feature on this song with, um, Trade the True, Sick of This Shit. I think so. They said it was R. Kelly. <laughs> wow. I think I, I, I'm gonna have to check that one out. I think yeah. I heard that before. You know, you know, Timlin came out and said that he had a crush on Aaliyah hmm. during the time when he said, I ain't going to lie, I knew she was underage. And he said, every time when I would see her in the studio, I would be fighting with myself to not act on it. No. I'm sure he's made comments before. Well, yeah, bad as hell. I, I know he said, hey, this, this and that. But it, during during the age before we could even say she's bad as hell, like 15, like she walked in. And he would, you know, I've heard stuff like that about Jermaine Dupri because, you know, he signed Escape them. He yeah. said, you know, he just didn't look at them. That's why he just kind of had them, like, dressing with boots and saggy pants and yeah. stuff. 
But Leah did that too, and it didn't work. Yeah, because she's bad as hell. I did. <laughs> it did trip me out that R. Kelly wrote AJ nothing but a number. They said, now that, okay, I can't lie, that's some, that's some bullshit right there. Aaliyah singing AJ nothing but a number. We, we knew that. But R. Kelly wrote the song hmm. and gave it to her and said, here, sing this. He helped produce her, her first <laughs> album. Right. That's, that's pretty goddamn wild. That's dope. He wrote, he wrote the Be Careful for Sparkle, like her part two. They said he constructed the video. Yeah, she said, she said he, he can, he could direct the whole video. He had the vision. They say he had vision based on all the video he was on with the Isaac brothers. Oh yeah. He brought Uncle Charlie back. So, so check this out. They said, uh, and I I just want to know what, what y'all think? I, I'll start with you, Wild Chuck. Right. So, and I want to say, don't quote me, I think it's a Lifetime again. It could be a different network. But currently, they are working on the Michael Jackson documentary. No. Again? And No. Yeah, it's coming back. And this time, they're supposed to expose him as being a pedophile. Oh, wow. Well. The thing is... So, you know, I heard this on Breakfast Club. They said that the the people who said that about Michael Jackson came out and went under oath and said, I was lying. It never happened. So people are saying if it's going to be those same people come back and say, yeah, actually it did happen, then they're not respecting it. But they're saying if it wants to be, if it's going to be new people, that they want to hear it. My thing on this well, I just want to hear what you think about it first. What, what do you think about it? them trying again to expose Michael Jackson right after this? After this, R. Kelly. Let that man rest in peace for himself. Exactly. Let that man be remembered for what he was remembered for. Like, and that, I mean, that, that depends on who you are, good or bad. But at the same time, I, I, I don't know what it is about what next is, is Prince going to be next? Is. is <laughs> I'm assuming that's what I, I was in a conversation about that earlier. Because I don't, I don't, I don't, I'm trying to figure out the angles of what's going on in regards to bringing up these these x amount of year old allegations for people, yeah, nah. and and why they're just I feel like it's being targeted to a particular audience mm-hmm. um, <laughs> in that in that particular nature. So, um, if, if pe- everybody's doing what they're doing when they're doing it in the industry, mm-hmm. uh, whether it's basketball players, football players, um, musicians, um, directors, whatever, like so everybody's doing something, mm-hmm. and, it, and it ain't just these these particular people that are are being brought to the attention um, to the world. That everything is being brought out of forefront, mm-hmm. and I don't I don't get it, and that's why I was like, yeah, he did it, cool. Like, I understand. Yeah, it's not right. Cool. I understand that. Mm-hmm. But how many people have not did the same thing, if not worse, and nobody's speaking on? Mm-hmm. Nobody's saying nothing. See, but see, you know what? A funny angle about that, like, I don't want that misconstrued either. Because people, they say when you say, what about the other guy? Everybody's saying, don't say what about the other guy because you're taking the, you're taking the uh, attention off of R. Kelly. When, when I say what about the other guy, I'm not saying what about the other guy. Don't worry about R. Kelly. I'm saying also get him. Yeah. Get him also. Yeah. Don't just, don't just get. Throw him under the jail. If Kelly did that, throw him under the jail. If R. Kelly did that, cool. Get him. But there's many of people doing the exact same thing. Exactly. Go motherfuckers too. Yeah. Cause he, cause, cause yeah. Cause at the end of the day, he is going to serve. Uh, Michael Jackson, this Michael Jackson thing. I really think that it's a business move more than anything. I think the network said everybody's talking about this R. Kelly thing. All the radio stations are talking about it. R. Kelly's recently been banned off the radio. So most of the radio stations in America are refusing to play his music. Mm-hmm. He's currently going to tour in Germany and people are concerned because the legal age to get married or, or mess with people over there is 14. And that's, that's legal there. Right. So people are, you know, insinuating that he might go over there and do stuff. Just cause. Just cause you can do it and nobody's gonna mm-hmm. tell you not to. It's, nobody's it's, gonna frown upon that cause it's legal. So that, that's crazy, but 
I, I just, I really feel like, I don't think, and I'm not, I wouldn't know this, but I just think they said, hey, let's get Michael Jackson because it'll be an even bigger thing. But even if they, even if they found it out, would y'all have that energy with Michael Jackson? Would y'all not play You Are Not Alone? Would y'all not play Billie Jean? Would y'all not play Beat It? Are y'all going to just get rid of that? I play Remember the Time. That apparently, if they can, people, people are saying about R. Kelly that it's hard for them to do it. So my thing is, are you getting rid of it because you want to? Or are you getting rid of it because that's what you think you should do? Because people are holding other people accountable. People people are saying, if you listen to R. Kelly, I don't want to do, have nothing to do with you. So then my question is, is kind of to, pretty much the answer that is like, so. Yeah, what is your response to somebody saying, if you listen to R. Kelly, I want nothing to do with you because you are into pedophilia? I'm not into pedophilia. I'm an individual, personal. Mm-hmm. So if, if that's how you feel about me, you get doing me. Mm-hmm. Um, just because I like music and he made music and whatever he did on his personal time was not his, what he did in, on his music. Mm-hmm. Then if that's how you feel, then. That's yeah, you kind of sound what I'm saying. Like if yeah. he was saying that he liked kids on the song, I'm sure you would be like, I don't want to hear this. Right. <laughs> I don't want to, no, I do not want to hear that. Right. So, like, if you're saying he produced, we'll say, the, the bum, 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 the lyrics of Baby Turn Around, let me see that sexy body go bum, bum, bum. Mm-hmm. Now, if you would say, let me see that little 12 year old, 14 year old body go bum, 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 yeah, then, bum you then, go we have, then we have a problem. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? And you can say that, hey, this is what he was talking about. You know, hey, when he made this song, this is what he was referring to. Mm-hmm. Is that okay? Yeah, it's wrong. Cool. At the time when that song was out, when you was actually listening to that song, when you was actually blasting that song back in the day, you didn't even know really what he was really talking about until this documentary. They said a lot of people got married and they did their dance to Step in the Name of Love and they actually had memories yeah. to it. And they said that they played that at their wedding and it was like, not going to listen to it no more. And they said when they graduated, they played I Believe I Can Fly. Not going to listen to it anymore. So I ain't even talking about the sexual stuff. Right now, I'm just talking about these songs have a stamp in your life. Right. These songs have a time stamp in your life. Like, I remember this time when I was listening to that song, this, that. We ain't even talking about Half on a Baby or none none of that right now. I'm I'm just talking about, because people listen to R. Kelly. The good thing about his music, people listen to him for different reasons. Some people say that's the go-to guy when they're trying to do some things. Yeah. Some people want to hear him say, step in the name of love, and I wish, I wish, and fiesta, and do you want to go to my hotel? You know, I got a random question. I don't even mean to cut you off, but I got a random go question. Go for it. And I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to start over there with Scorp. Yeah. So, Scorp. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, you, you in the mood, you in the groove, right? Oh, yeah. You got on this nice, lovely playlist, and you in the middle of it, and R. Kelly 12 play come on or something. Are you gonna stop what you're doing to skip it? <laughs> <laughs> are you gonna skip it or are you gonna let it ride? And then say, follow up, how you gonna feel? And she's like, no, nah, I wanna skip it. You, I promise you, you promise me. That's a real question. <laughs> so, yeah. Oh, wow. First and foremost, <laughs> I'm gonna ask all these questions. I'm gonna ask all these questions. First and foremost, how would you feel if she wants to skip it? First and foremost, my mind is telling me no, but my body's saying yes. <laughs> so I'm not skipping no R. Kelly songs. If she don't like it, if she against it, then I'm gonna have to put one of the Martin stunts on her ass. You say get to step. So get to step. <laughs> then the I might step in the name of love. <laughs> then I might call somebody else up and say, "Let me stick my key in your ignition." <laughs> and go ahead. <laughs> I mean, I'm just saying, you know. But in reality, though, my perspective, you know, what R. Kelly did, yeah, is wrong. It's wrong, but that's not going to stop me from listening to his music. Cause, you know, I be stepping to his song, stepping in the name of love. You know yeah. saying? I had, I taught my baby mama that dance. She didn't ever, she didn't know nothing about how to step to that dance. I, to I had to bring it to her, you know. And then on top of that, 
You know, it's a lot of things. So you have special moments to it. This yeah, as well. Right. I mean, back in the gap days, yeah, I used to like the song I Believe I Can Fly. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? You hear that song, you think of Space Jam. You know? Right. Just think of Space Jam. I mean, then on top of that, if you want to go sexually, you know, it seems like you really, you might think of the Players Club. Mm-hmm. You know, when, when Diamond was... <laughs> boy. <laughs> Ooh, what? What's the one that gets you? The, the kills. What, what's the kills song that do it? Oh man! Of course, there's more than one, but but just if if you know what? the one that does it. Here you go. You ready? Mm-hmm. I hear you call. Damn! Oh, hey! Here I come, baby, to save you. Uh oh. Hey. And you know what? As much as I love slow jams and stuff. For some reason, of that song, I like the fast one better. Yeah. Your body's yeah. calling oh. for me. I can hear you calling. But you know, it's a yeah. slow version of that same song, yeah. same lyrics, but it's a slow version. Yeah. yeah that's that, that one now. I ain't gonna lie. Sex Me is mine. Ooh. Not to mention, mm. when I hear that song, I'm in the presence of an adult looking at Bae kissing her on the forehead. I would say, <laughs> I would say... Sex me also and um a woman's word. Indeed. Yeah. Indeed. So like it's it's I'm glad you brought that up because if you single because this this thing have made people have so much division on where do you stand on it. Right. That is it's a real serious thing. So it made me think if you because, you know, luckily I'm in a relationship and I know where she, we know where we stand on it. But if I was single. What's up? And I just ran into a chick and then we came back to the crib and I threw that on. Me personally, I don't see a problem with it, but she may. So now I'm thinking the same thing with the whole nature of the question. How does that work now? Because you may not know. If, if it's somebody you've been fucking with, you would probably, yeah. y'all probably had the conversation already. Right. Yeah, yeah. But if it's, you know, you after the club, y'all go to the crib, you know what the, throw that on, and it might be a problem. So here's, here's the, so you just gonna not play it, or nah. you gonna... Here's the kicker. <laughs> here's the kicker. You just, you just had a conversation before you even turned the music on. It's true. <laughs> true. So as you, as you approach the radio. True. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? You just had a conversation like, man, yeah, you know what I'm saying? You know, but you know what? That could co- that conversation at that time could cause you to not get it. Like, just say if you say, how do you feel about it? And she's like, I'm against it. It's gross. It's sickening. And you're like, well, I'm for it. And she might be like, you know what? Fuck you. I'm leaving. So it's probably not a good conversation. I'm like, yeah, I ain't for it either. So what's up? Then, then you might want this. Then, then you might just slide one little song yeah, up in there. One little. Just throw just one, throw one little R. Kelly song up in there. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so you, you probably gotta you gotta have it on the playlist. But you gotta have it like right before you go to bed. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That way, by the time it come on, yeah. Nobody's thinking about that. Damn. Well, then Unless you, she feel that strong, she's like she's sweating and everything. She's like, can you change this? Like, yeah. is you really? Is that yeah. what you're thinking about right now? Yeah. Yeah, I mean, you might be just on up in there, and then you know what I'm saying. You, you might want to hit it from the back to the back that thing goes, so I can uh, wax hey, it, baby. Hey, put the pillow over the head. <laughs> 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 I'm just gonna do this real quick. Can you breathe though? Tell her don't don't focus on this. Yeah, can you breathe? Focus on your breathing. Focus on your breathing. You know what, side note, this reminded me of back in the day. I don't know if you remember when them, them MP3 CDs first came out. When like you could burn like a whole You could burn like fifty or yeah. 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 I remember this guy my homeboy had told me like he had a, a hot date and, and he was very fond of the music I had on deck. There you go. But I was an asshole. And I, I always been one. So I went ahead. And made a playlist. It was a bunch of Drew Hill, a bunch of Silk, a bunch oh. of R. Kelly, Jacket Edge, Rome. I got a story out there. It was all there. Yeah. But I, I wait till like maybe 20 or 30 songs in and I put MC Hammer too legit to quit. You was a dirty motherfucker. And, 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 Hell. and I yeah. knew that song was going to come on at the wrong time. And he ended up telling me like a few days later, he was like, yeah. He said, man, it was great, man. He said, everything went good. It went down. We went down for a long time. 
more than one round. When we got to the other round, and two legit quick came on. <laughs> and I looked at her, and, and I was just rubbing my hands like, mission accomplished. Uh, I know. I know. I know. I know exactly how your friend feels. I know exactly how this shit Your ass just do me like this. <laughs> And then I, my, I could be in the room. He, I would put it at the first song. I put it like up with I could be in the room. He he controlled the music. He probably outside somewhere controlling the music. Next thing you know, he might throw a little gospel up in there or something. Or he'll throw some prints all up in there. I'm like, man, you killing the vibe, dog. See, I'm going to say some shit to him. But what he couldn't because a, a gentleman I had known was having sex. And I was mad because I was sitting on the couch. <laughs> I was, oh, oh, I was sitting on the couch and I could hear stuff in the back room. Oh, 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 baby. I could hear that and I'm like, man, everybody been so sick so sit me. I was sitting there watching the TV so I knew what to do. So I went and put it on, uh, I don't know if you remember this gospel song. Uh, I am a living testimony. I ain't gonna play with you. I should have been dead and gone, but the Lord just let me live on. You so wrong as hell. I think I put it on Kirk Franklin's Stomp. Yeah, you yeah. done me there a couple times. That song came out? Stomp. Yeah, Stomp. You almost got your ass really Stomp for real, too. I'm going to have to so nobody won't know what's going to come on. See, me and my boys is different. Would like, you stop? Or you would, if, 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 I'm in there. If, if, if Kirk Franklin Stomp come on? Lately, I've been. <laughs> <laughs> So uh we used to me and my boys used to be different. Uh, my homeboy, shout out to him. Uh I'm, his name was Tom, you know what I'm saying? Shout out to him. He was a uh, all the way with it. He had like, he had like every playlist you could think of. Yeah. So, uh, uh, every song that you could think of. So I would go to him and make CDs. Yeah. The one at the MP3 joints, I would just make CDs. So, and I would put titles on my CDs. So that way, like if I wanted it a specific way or something like that, oh, yeah. um, I would have it. So I had, uh, I had one called, uh, Climax. Yeah, yeah. It was a CD called Climax. Oh, Boy, I wish I still had the CD to this day. Yeah, man. Like, oh, man. Hey, I got to sit up now. I wish I had, I might I need me I another had drink. a CD to this day. I need me another drink. So, um, we used to make CDs and we used to, we used to strategize. Oh, yeah. And we used to sit in front of the computer and yeah. strategize what song was going to play, how it was going to play. And what point in time. point in time. <laughs> oh, so yeah. that way... We knew it was gonna be official. Yeah. So you know, some songs ran longer than others. So you get you about 15, 17 songs because you know slow jams was a little bit longer. Than oh others. yeah. Mm-hmm. So we would make it to where like you'll have like maybe like a Marion, you know, come on in the beginning, and you got like maybe some uh, jagged edge or something to come on, and then next thing you know, like right in the middle, you get to Silk, you get to H Town. You get to uh, shy. You get to Woo. pretty Willie in the middle. Mm. So, so your middle is banging. So your your beginning is like your foreplay. So you just get in the mood. You know what I'm saying? So then you had it uh, like the Marcus Houston like ain't never been a man mm. want anything as much as I want you. So that'd be like song number one, right? Yeah. I thought. Hold on. I just want to say shout out to you and your posse because I thought I was the only one to do this. Oh yeah, no. Nah. Because if you're kicking it with the young lady, right, you can't have sex me be number one. Okay. Oh no, it cannot. They gotta be in the middle. Like yeah, I, I I want it to be at a point where I'm like, at this point in the playlist, we're already doing it. I should be taking clothes. It's already doing like, it for real. Like. In the beginning, I'm starting light, and we're gonna be yeah with the pretty Willie. We're gonna be with talking, some, uh, sipping, you yeah. know, and, and yeah, we we talking and stuff. I might have some jagged edge on. Like all that silk and R. Kelly and, yeah. and Rome, that's gonna be that's in the middle. That's yeah. the meat of the that's thing. That's gonna be the yeah. That's the meat of that thing. <laughs> See, I think I think people don't think of that. They just walk in the house and and, and put it on. Seems like you're ready. No, 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 no,
genuine, not his best ones, just a few genuines here, you yeah. know, uh, uh, what you call it, that song Hello by him, we ain't gonna have So Anxious here. Right, yeah, no, you don't do So Anxious we, we, we just have a little, uh, sing along, some of his songs that y'all can sing along to, then once you get to that middle, then that's when you have some of that, uh, uh I'm just a bachelor. What? That, that's when you have. Looking for a part. <laughs> what's that? What's that? Uh, when he telling her to come over. Uh, damn. Hey. Hmm. Who is it? Oh, come on, Jimmy. Yeah. Tell me, do you wanna go? See, that gotta be in the middle. Hey. Cause when I say, tell me, do you wanna go home? Yeah. And then he come on. Yeah. See, see, you gotta have that stuff like that in the middle. You gotta have that, that, uh, like I said, wrong, uh, all that stuff. See, y'all can do these are the times. Even if you, you, even some of the same artists, like you could have Kells at the beginning, you just can't be the super bangers. Right. You can even have Drew Hill, These Are the Times, uh, some of that, uh, Good Luck Charm by Jagged Edge and stuff. Once you get to the middle, now, now we're at Promise. Yeah. Now, now we're at, uh, with Drew Hill. Let's just say if you're doing Drew Hill, you, you, you bringing the, the real shit. Yeah. And you gotta have, let me go deep. <laughs> That's in the middle, boy. Well, like you gotta have that bitch in the middle. You know what? What what I noticed? I had this happen a few times. Like some songs, I just like them because it's a slow song. Mm-hmm. But women notice what the song is about. Yep. Like so, that it that matters to like us. We're just like I like this song because it's a slow song. Like I love genuine. There it is. Mm. One time we were getting yeah. busy, and there it is came on, and I was held accountable. I'm like, man, I was like, this is a slow jam. And she was like, yeah, but he said, uh, I get it, everything you what you need. Yeah. And it seems. Cause the whole song he's complaining. I'm like, ah, yeah, yeah you're right. I'm like, I know this, but I just figured it was all right. I'm like, yeah. she, she could be mid bent over and she'd be like, I changed that. It's about a breakup that I feel, uh, <laughs> yeah. get your bags. <laughs> Yeah. And get the hell on. <laughs> I'm like, he said, get the hell on. I'm like, oh, let me change it. <laughs> yeah, so that's why, like, that's why I was strategic. Like, even at the end of my, um, like, even at the conclusion, I call it the conclusion. You know what I'm saying? Like, I had, uh, like, the 112 is a song called Smile by 112. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. He was like, cause I believe that I can make you smile. So, yeah. So, I was on 112 Part 3 for Stride Out of the 112. That was actually one of my favorite CDs. That's um, right. Yeah, that was right. They had some bangers on there. If you, oh, if you ain't listening to that joint, I can listen to that mug going all the way through. You know so, what? Yeah. What's up? Don't say 12 play because that's just too easy. What's an R&B album you can listen to? I'm going to start a score all the way through. Because we talked about hip hop before. Mine. That's yours? Yeah, that's mine. Like, like you just pop it in and you let it ride. I can literally tell you. I can tell you no more right now. I'm trying to think of mine too because say the intro. Mm. Yeah, yeah that, that's mine. One twelve part three. They they got the peaches and cream. <laughs> you don't mind having sex to this one? I won't. <laughs> I'm still trying to I'm still trying to get busy to wedding. I'm like a bitch to be real tired. And I ain't fucking put him to be real. I got to be real. the check, please. Wow. <laughs> I got to thank me. Because you know what, R and B, R and B, we do it more with R and B. How how far are you going back though? With whatever, hey, whatever you got, bro. Because with R and B, like with hip hop, you know, you grab I like number five, I like number yeah. eight. With R and B, I'm even more picky. Like I'm like, yeah, I don't like this one. This one's cool. This one's all right. So you got your little favorite ones everywhere. So it's hard to think of an album you could just. Oh, hold on, that silk, that one with meeting in my bedroom, that album. Yeah. That was a good yeah. album too. Yeah. yeah. And matter of fact, that Maxwell, the one with uh with something something on it, and okay. till the cops come knocking. Yeah. yeah. That's that's my number one sex song of all time. Okay. Till the cops come knocking, because okay. just listen to that title first off. Thanks. We're gonna do it until the cops come knocking. I don't even hold on. I don't normally do this for myself. <laughs> <laughs> Mm. I say Into the Drag. The Drew Hill? Yeah. Yeah, Drew Hill, yeah. Into yeah, the Drag. Into the Drag, boy. Yeah, that was a banger all the way through. 
Man. I, I, I definitely, I definitely fucks with Drew Hill. <laughs> did, we, did, did we talk about the worst song you had six to? I don't want to talk about that. <laughs> <laughs> I know we all said, well, two of y'all didn't say y'all definitely uh, put it to God. No, I didn't I say did. that. This, I song. quit. I quit. You gave it up? I quit. No, yeah, I think we did talk about that. Because didn't you say Vanilla Ice? Yeah. Yeah. We talked about that. <laughs> If you don't remember, catch back on some episodes. Yeah. I don't remember Y'all what episode it was. <laughs> oh my god! But um, with my with my CD, you know, the OG Judge, he used to hook me up. You know, I gave him a list of what I wanted. Then he added some of his own up in there. You know what I'm saying? I just told him, "Do I have you feel? You know, it don't matter what order it's in." Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I pre listened to it. I listened to it first before I played it with. The woman that I was with, you yeah. know what I'm saying? You gotta make sure it's on. Yeah, so you gotta you make sure it's on. Yeah, exactly. We used to do the same thing. Like we would literally go in order. Yeah, like we it'd probably be like an hour to two a bit. Yeah, like we literally sit in front of the computer and do literally, literally like. Nah, I don't. Nah, that don't sound like it. Like it flow. Like yeah. it flow with the you next gotta go song. To the, you gotta go. You gotta flow next to the next song. So exactly. we're like, okay, I can see that, and it was like, yeah, title. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? The four walls, she ain't gonna be able to say shit, you know what I'm saying? And after it's that, funny because people yeah, used, people used to just get songs and throw them on a the CD and click burn. But yeah. I used to be like, okay, I want this to be number three. Yeah. Okay, and I yeah, think I do this, this should be like number seven. Yeah, like like it was all strategic. Yeah, it was strategic. Yeah. Strategic as hell, bro. I really do wish I had them. I really do wish I had them CD because I had them titled. Like Man, all like, of mine got Stolen. Mom, I had one I had called. I'm talking okay, climax. And then I had one called uh uh playroom. Hmm. I forgot what I think oh, I had. I had one I of my playlist on Spotify called "Them Panties Will Be Removed." I seen it. <laughs> I had a CD called "Panty Droppers." Yeah, I saw that. Um, Nine one one calls out. Oh yeah. Let me ask y'all a question. <laughs> I forgot about this question. <laughs> oh my god. So I saw something on Facebook that made me think about this. And I wanna know, is it hard to cuddle and not have sex? Hell yeah. Because and I wanna know how y'all been through that. Like a, a yeah. woman, I'm gonna start at you at, at you like she either either A she said all you wanna do is have sex. Or you maybe you trying to prove something because sometimes the dude do it. You yeah. just be like trying to show yeah. her that you can kick it and just yeah, kick yeah. it. Or sometimes she may have called you out on it. Why was you? Why was you doing it? First of all, I'm done all of the above. What else we call it? I don't know. We're gonna say that right, right there out front. What's your most popular purpose? Is it because um, you proving a point or because she said something? You know what? I think I've told this story before. Um, now I know you said you you proved the point. Oh yeah. You know you went the whole night or whatever. Yeah, yeah. I proved but the point. so tell me have. She ever held you accountable? Have she ever said all you want to do is have sex, and then you were true? <laughs> you were so called trying to show her that you could just watch the movie. I ain't gonna lie. If she's if she said all I want to do is have sex, and I was like, all right. <laughs> I was like, ain't no point. Ain't no point in proving because guys want cakes. You yeah, know what I'm saying that's what we want to do. You know what I'm saying, and they tell you that while they leaning against you. Right, and, and you're like, well, as you as you leaning against me, stroking them with, with boy shorts, with boy shorts on, and like, all you want to do is have sex. Yes, hmm. yes. After you to call me at two o'clock in the morning. Yes, I make my <laughs> I make my girl change. What? Like if if we not finna do it, like if she want me to, because I can meet her need. I can meet her in the middle. If she was like, I really want to see this movie, and I'm. So called trying to see a movie. Then I put on a hoodie. Then I'm like, yeah, can you go put a hoodie on? And, yeah. And some big jogging pants. Yeah. And sometimes she will go put on some big jogging pants and a hoodie. So, yeah. so I can't see nothing. And then we'll try to focus. Even still, it still happened. I yeah, still, because you know what the case like. Yeah. So I know, I still know what's beneath the hoodie and stuff. Absolutely. But it, it helps me. But you know, if we walking around the house, is this on live? No. <laughs> 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 no. <laughs> Look out! I gotta watch out what kind of social medias I'm on right now. I'm telling it, baby. I'm telling it. <laughs> I discarded. I discarded. No, um, that was on Snapchat. If I, uh, if we, you know, I'm sitting here watching TV, 
she walking around with just drawers on and going to get going to the refrigerator and talk, talking talking about yeah I'm finna cook and stuff. I'm like I need you to if you really want to cook, I need you to not wear that because I'm fine with watching TV and you cook, but if you're gonna cook like that, it's we we gonna be hungry. I hear you. <laughs> My work on has sex in the kitchen like a kid. You know what I'm saying? Boy. What about you, Scott? Have you ever been kind of, uh, Yeah, oh, I really have. But you know, my weakness is boy shorts. Yeah, that's that's my weakness. weakness. That's that's my weakness. So it makes you. <laughs> you it's, it's it's hard to. Been, so can you cook? Yeah, I have. I can. It's hard. It's fuck. You know. Oh, all, all kind of. All, 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 all type of thoughts. You know what I'm saying? But, but like you said, in reality though, if they saying that's all you want to see, you you got to prove them wrong. You know what I'm saying? That's what we do. That's what we do as guys. You you got to prove them wrong. Cause you know, like if you want to be with them or just. Just have a conversation with them, and they, and they think that's all you want is sex with them. So you gotta show them. Otherwise. You got you got show them otherwise. See, here's what I here's my kicker today. It depends on how bad she is. Mm. How about if you if you're cap- capable of holding it, capable of holding it. Like if I want to know what them cakes is like for real, like I can like hey let me see about. Even if I've had the cakes before, I'm and we're to me that's just really well, hard. And I will say that too, like. um even if you have the cakes, you know what I'm saying? You have them <laughs> and they're A1, you know, steak sauce cakes, you know what I'm saying? Like, of course, you want to keep them cakes around. Steak sauce cakes sound wow. <laughs> feel like That feel like me Yeah, so, uh, if you, even if those are the, the, the bees knees, you know what I'm saying? That golden bird. Yeah. You know, you know, like, you make sure that, uh, you keep the golden bird. Yeah. And if the golden bird says that, hey, you know, all you want is the golden bird. Yeah. And you gotta be like, hey, you gotta prove otherwise. God, guys, guys definitely wanna, um, if you're listening, you definitely wanna make sure that you not only prove your point, but don't, don't feed into it either. You know what I'm saying? I, I got a technique, but I guess this still means I failed at proving my point, but this has worked for me and I was still held accountable of uh, being accused of all I wanna do is have sex. Mm-hmm. And, Especially when it's a movie that, like, she's like, I really want to see this movie. Like, right. I, I, we've been talking about this movie. It's a popular movie or whatever. I really want to see it. So I say, have sex, then watch the movie. There you go. Don't watch the movie and then hoping it's late. Cause I think another reason us guys be only like that. Cause one, we probably be thinking, I know I have thought this before. I'm like, okay, it's like 10. I'm half, we, we halfway through the movie. I'm kind of getting sleepy. Right. And I'm like, if I don't do it now, I ain't gonna get it, period. <laughs> Cause I'm, I'm over there yawning and stuff. Cause we all know what it feel like to wake up in the morning, you be like, damn, I fell asleep. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So, but if I do it and then watch the movie, a lot of times, I'm not saying that's all that I need in life, but I'm now capable of watching the movie. I'm like, we did that. Let's watch the movie. I agree. <laughs> Like I'm, I'm all for watching the movie, but at the same time, <laughs> you know what I'm goddamn here for. Have you ever had a girl Netflix and chill with you for real? And I'm not talking about it led to sex. I'm talking about, it. and I'm not talking about you didn't want it to be sex either, because of course. Yeah. But have you ever had a girl come through? You thought it was gonna be that, and it wasn't that, and it wasn't because it take a few times. Like it just wasn't that at all. Yeah. Like it was Netflix and chill, and that's exactly what happened. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I actually have had that. Um, it was a a cold, was, dark night. It was cold, a dark, it was cold, a dark, cold. It was a dark, cold <laughs> night. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And uh, he was in there. You know what I'm saying? Had some pizza. You know what I'm saying? And yeah. Was chilling, relaxing, relaxing, chilling, sipping and chilling, drinking and talking. So. I had the fire stick, fire stick was rocking, you know what I'm saying? So, you know, I'm thinking, you know, we got some food, you fed, you know what I'm saying? Let a blood get some head, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> you feel me? Yeah. You feel me? So, um, 
but none of that actually happened. Like we actually just chilled, we watched the movie, we good. There was some cuddle sessions in there, so I guess I say I can't do it because there was some cuddle sessions in there. But this was this was like a this was like the beginning. Yeah. And don't ask me if I talk to him now. You just quit. Yeah, like we socialized, but ain't no. Hey, let me see you again. Once hey, you man. saw. Yeah. But no, it wasn't nothing wrong with it. It wasn't nothing bad. Like, still cool people. Like I said, yeah. still socialize with the person. Um, I just was like, yeah. Because <laughs> you, you ain't bad enough. You, you, you ain't bad enough to pursue like that. You know what I'm saying? Oh my God. I don't, I don't feel like, I don't know if we have common goals or not. Or not but <laughs> you gotta be mutual. Yeah, but it wasn't mutual. So. <laughs> you can call me an asshole if you want, you know what I'm saying? Asshole by nature. Sure. I might have to get that shit tapped on. Yeah. It's all good. I know I know what I'm capable of when I'm in a relationship, so. Scorp, you did you been here? With what? With somebody, Netflix and chill. It was Netflix and chill, and yeah. that's all it was. Yeah. It wasn't nothing else. Nothing else. Yeah, boy. Yeah, it was. I ain't gonna see him lie to you. And you were standing there walking the floor like what happened? No. <laughs> uh, FYI, that Netflix movie better be a good movie for me to not pull a movie. Like, it better be something like that. I'm like, hey, hey, what you doing? You going to the restroom? Why are you pausing it? Like, what's going on? Like, why are you pausing it? I, I, I did that before, but it was because she, like, I didn't even want it. Like, what? Like, it was, it was a turnout to be somebody that was jive. So, oh. like, so I just, I just watched the movie and then. You were not invited to come back. Facts. <laughs> yeah. I, I know what that's like. like the vibe is off anyway, yeah. and I'm just like, I'm like, yeah, we can watch this movie, right. and then when they hit you again, they're like, oh, we see the movie. I'm like, oh, I'm, I'm, I'm fine. I'm good. We don't gotta do this. I got something to do. Yeah. <laughs> it's an emergency. You know what I'm saying? So my mama. I'm finna do something. I'm finna. I'm finna. I saw this curveball, and I and I. Uh oh. You got a curveball. What happened? You bought the curve, Oh, yeah, I'm finna curve. I knew you bought the curve this year. I saw something else on social media. What'd you see? And, and first off, I want to say to all the people out there, don't do drugs. Are you sure? But I'm what finna, type of drugs? but I'm finna ask y'all this. What's the best drug to have sex to? Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> Just the audio for this. I want to make sure we hear this clearly. This is, this yeah. is actually a true story. Um, I had a, I had a, I had an ex pill. Uh oh. Um, first time. First time. Oh my gosh. First time. Um, was that a wedding? Oh my god! This sounds terrible, yeah. right? <laughs> sounds terrible, right? So cool, right? This sounds terrible. Wedding was like, we'll say morning, afternoon, it's right. So wedding happened, right? Reception happened. And I'm feeling like myself, like, you know what I'm saying? I'm cooling, like, you know what I'm saying? I'm drinking too. So it's not only the eggs pill, I'm drinking too. Yeah. Now, I'm, I'm not so drinking like, you know, I'm, I'm drinking for real. Like, yeah, it wasn't just, a game. Yeah, right, it's not a thing. <laughs> so drinking, having drinks, having a good time, even go to the club. Yeah. I'm rolling. Oh, see, I went to the club too. Yeah, yeah. So this oh, is shit. like this is a whole day event. So we 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 do the wedding, we do the reception, and we all go out. Ah. So it's like a group of us. It's like we'll say like we like eight or ten deep. You know yeah. So go to the club. I hit this nightcap. Yeah. Hit the, hit the nightcap. Show you were still on it. I'm, I'm bro. I'm, you still on? I'm, boy, I've been having drinks and everything, and 
all of the above. I guarantee you, when Shorty got there, bro, like you had no power. It was goddamn WWE Royal Rumble. It was just like I'm, I'm in there, like goddamn Energizer Bunny for real. Like I'm, I'm in there. Oh my god, I'm going in there. I'm going hard in the motherfucking paint. Like, you know what I'm <laughs> like I'm crossing D's, crossing T's, dotting I's, crossing T and providing. Plane. I'm like her uppercuts. Like, I'm in there, goddamn. I'm oh Keon in the pussy. I'm not on Super Saiyan 3 in the pussy. Like, oh it, was, it was a thing, bro. Like, and it was literally like a, from like, it was like 3 to 5, bro. You know what? God damn. No nut. Hold on. You know what? I have, I ain't never did X. People say I'm, it's shocking that I never done that since I'm a believer in, and I've been trolling. Hey. <laughs> hey. But, uh, I, I, I've taken one of them sex pills before, like, just, like, from either from the sex store or the gas station. The mm. Rhino. Uh, I ain't never had that. <laughs> the, the Rhino is... Uh, I heard it's trash, though. Yeah, you know what? The Rhino the it was kind of trash. It was the stamina RX that did yeah. for me. They gave me some additional powers that I didn't have before. But uh, oh, wow. I, I also want to share a testimony about a, a relative of mine. <laughs> Uh, I gotta take this moment that he wasn't able to show up for the show, so I gotta tell his story. I hope he won I hope he's not listening. So yeah. Hold on for you tell the story, let me tell mine real quick. Yeah, go ahead. I feel you got a long testimony. <laughs> yeah, go ahead. Ooh, he won't be before you long. Oh, let me see. What's your drug of choice? Man, I don't I don't hear <laughs> I had a little blue pill before from the A Red stove back oh. at Back at, if you don't know, back at home in the silk, you know, we caught the little A-Rail stove, the Eagle stove. Yeah. You know, you get two pills for two ninety nine. You know, I know the price and everything. And it went down. And it went down. You know, I don't, I don't had the XO before. I tried the XO a couple times. What kind of powers did you get? Oh, the first time. <laughs> I went Hercules. Her- Hercules. <laughs> I went in like swim well, like the white child said, yeah. dicing T, crossing T's and dicing some eyes and that thing. Yeah. You know, yeah. I, don't, I didn't even have the little, the little shots. You know, yeah, little quick shots. you can get them at Walmart mm-hmm. for five ninety four, or you can go oh, to prices and all. Oh, or you can go <laughs> you to the six store. Shots. <laughs> or you can go to the six store and get them for six ninety nine. Oh my gosh! You know, I'm a little nervous. <laughs> <laughs> I went there. Uh, that's them shot. Hey, them shots worth it. <laughs> them shots worth it, man. Okay. What what it do for you? Boy, it puts you in there. You be cro- dying some teeth, dying some eyes, and cross some teeth all night. <laughs> See, and my thing is like it, on on the X I took, bro. I didn't even know I was rolling. Yeah, yeah. I didn't even know I was rolling, yo. Yeah, and uh, I didn't know I was rolling until that moment. I was knee deep in some case. It wasn't no joke. And I I was. I was goddamn Captain America. I was on that when shit was strong. So the next one I want to try, I was always told not to try this. It's about Agra. No, I don't know. I, don't I just know. wanted to try at least one time. I don't know if I can do that, bro. To the women audience, mm-hmm. they always want to know why do men that don't need pills like that? Why do we do that? It's an experience. I, I gotta agree. For me. It's an experience. I want to say, hey, does it last two hours for real? Because I want to find out. I think I like to do it as a, uh, cause I don't, I don't know if this wrong to do, but I don't think so. I don't think nothing wrong with it. I don't, I don't tell her when I do it. Oh no. Like I just pop it and it go down and then, you know, when she's like, good heavens. <laughs> What Either I don't still tell her, or right. I might tell her like on another day. I'd be like, "Yeah, you remember Tuesday when you said when you said a piece of your hair fell off, and and then you had to, we had to go to the hospital and you sprang your ankle and everything else." <laughs> God uh, damn! What the hell are you doing? <laughs> she sprained her ankle, and we had to roll you in in the house on a dolly. Well, I took the, this pill, and then that's when I ended up getting in trouble. I always, <laughs> I would, me personally, I always tell them like a week after. Yeah, yeah, a week after. What happened? No, they need some details about the other day. And then they were like, oh, you don't need to take that no more. Why are you taking that? It's an experience, you know. Look at this. Yeah. So, 
My cousin testimony that I was talking about. Yeah, go ahead with your testimony. Oh, this your testimony. Yeah. My cousin testimony. I pause, I pause you because I want to tell my story first. Oh, he told but, me to show you this story for later. Oh, story yeah, really. So I, I, uh, I had a cousin come into town. And he don't come here very frequently. Right. So when he was here, he was excited to spend time with little cuz Billy. And he said, come on, cuz, let's go to the strip club. Yeah. At this time, we went to a strip club. Actually, it's not the best facility of, of life. Called Sugar. But it was just something to do. We were there. And he saw the relative of the young lady I was dating. Mm. I didn't know that the young lady I was dating, her sister was a stripper. Mm. So, yeah, little scribbles. So, first off, I had to close my eyes. Why? Because <laughs> my girl at the time, her sister, walked up to me in the nude, or in the half nude, mm. and I was like, oh shit, what the world are you doing here? Well, he was head over heels for her. Right? Oh, well. Do so I know this because? So, we, uh. But, did you watch porn? Yeah. So why'd you close your eyes? Mm. You're not supposed to see this. Mm. Are you not? <laughs> mm. I'm just going to drop a bone. There you go. Why? Watch hey. <laughs> mm. out. Watch out says it's okay to look at the realtors. Well, you touch I don't want to do either. Okay. <laughs> I was trying, I was so called trying to be, what, what's the word for it? I was trying to be a stand up gentleman. And I said, oh, I, and you're trying to be another kind of stand up gentleman. You, you're trying to be a fine gentleman and a scholar. Yeah. You were being a... I'm just trying to be a fine gentleman. Or a stand-up gentleman. <laughs> With and, the pill. <laughs> and scholastically figure out. So... <laughs> watch this. So, she, she told my cousin that she would like to experience his genitalia. Oh, wow. That same evening. He addicted to sex pills. Oh. And... He do live in San Antonio now. Shout out. Okay. <laughs> we had to make sure to beat that out. Uh-uh. Right. So, oh, I just don't know who you were talking about. So he, uh, <laughs> he popped a lot of sex pills. I don't know if you ever, or either one of y'all ever took a sex pill and don't have sex. Uh-uh. Nope. So he took like two or three sex pills. And he didn't have sex because when we got to the house, she told him she gonna come through or come pick him up or they was gonna get a hotel or whatever their arrangement was. She never called him. He kept calling her and calling her. First off, I was feeling strange because my mom was at my mom's house. My mom was in the back room asleep. We didn't came in stumbling in the house at one or two in the morning and he got on jogging pants. Mm. Now I looked over and I saw a dog with them. <laughs> So I was offended. <laughs> I went and got him a blanket. <laughs> I said, hold on, we're going to cover you up. He on the, he on the couch hollering, oh, call your friend. I was like, what's wrong with you? He like, it hurt. See, that's what I'm talking about. He, he said his penis went like a, well, you know when you peel a banana? Oh, oh. He said it was like a peel banana. Oh, well. All I know is he had to lay on his stomach. With jogging pants on and put pills on his butt to smush him to the couch. Cause he said he was gonna try to smush it so it can. Oh, uh, <laughs> you sure he didn't? You sure he ain't fuck the cats? <laughs> no wonder it's all over the couch. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even know what to say to you. <laughs> this is my relative. It wasn't me. First of all, I was doing. I was trying to tell him like, "Hey, call this number. She will help you out." She didn't respond. So. Yeah, no, I ain't gonna do that. And then I, it made me think of that though. I was like, this ain't a good time because he was screaming for help. But I was thinking, how did it work if you take a sex pill and don't actually have sex? See, that's why I feel like I like. Like, do you take it when you know it's confirmed? Or do you be, have you ever taken it and she'd be like, I'm gonna be there in a while? And you'd be kind of nervous. What if she don't come through? What if she'd be like, I changed my mind? See, and you didn't already took the pill. <laughs> that's why I can't take what he took. Cause like, with the, with the ex I took, I took that shit in the morning. So I it was, was able, all day? I was able to vibe. I was able to vibe like it was like morning slash afternoon. Okay. So I was able to vibe like all day. Even at the club, like and whatever happened, happens. Whatever happened.
happen, happen. But like at the same time, it was like I wasn't bugging, I wasn't tripping out, or whatever can be. I was cooling the whole day, so I feel like if you take it at the right time, I ain't never took a six. Occupied, like, yeah. So if you just sitting there chilling. I'm saying, and you say that you take a six. And that's that's wrong. That's wrong. That's your fault. That's your fault. That's your, that's your fault. You wrong. Yeah, I, I, I like never it. took one, and and like, and she wasn't there. Like when I even take it, like she's there. She may not be. I may say, hey, I'm gonna go in the bathroom or something. I may do it off, you know, just be like, I'm gonna go take this real quick. But at the same time, she is there. Right, and, and I know her status and it, it, is it shark week or balloon time or whatever. Yeah. I know what time it is. I ain't gonna pop the pill and then find out some other news afterwards. Yeah, now you, you out there. pop the pill and not have no guarantee case. Laying on your stomach. Yeah, you can't have no guarantee case. You gotta have some guarantee case in the building. You hear some almost times like this, Squirt? Uh-uh. When you pop the pill and you, you weren't sure. Uh-uh. Man, I'd be scared as hell. I ain't gonna do it. Well, mine though, I'd be slick, man. If I know I'm gonna get the cakes that night, I don't tell them I'm taking it or nothing. I'm just, you, you know. So you sip on the beverage? Yeah. And <laughs> I might be in the kitchen, you know what I'm saying, just drinking, and then that's when I pop it then. You know, <laughs> you don't, you don't never supposed to tell them. You tell them afterwards. Yeah, you tell them like a week after. <laughs> don't tell them the next day. So. Let them marinate on it for a while. I'm then you tell them. A bad thing too. I can't swallow pills. Okay. So when I take a sex pill. Don't she, feel bad. She hear a lot of noise in the kitchen. Go like this. Don't feel bad. I can't swallow pills you either. the same situation. Yeah. So I crush it up and either put it in my drink yeah. or I just sprinkle it on my tongue or whatever I got to do. So what I'm doing all that, they're having time. She said, what's that noise? And I told her I'm fixing the cabinet though. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even do that no more. I just, I just go on and bite the motherfucker. Yeah, I done done that too. I just say, fuck it, I'm gonna just eat it. Go on and eat it. It don't taste good, but I'm like, I know what the results are. We gonna get to it. And it looks like, for all those people that didn't know, why are men taking sex pills and they don't need it? You heard it here. It fell for fives. <laughs> if I take a trip on oh, my birthday, which is. In X amount of months, I need y'all to be there. Uh-uh. We going to Vegas. Oh, oh Lord! So, just just bring what you need. I'm scared. What, what do you mean? Uh, what you need? I'm scared. Whatever right. that is. I'm scared. All right. Oh wow! Well. So no blue magic event. Oh, so. Okay. Yes, so no this, blue this magic is, event. Uh, this is no blue magic event. Oh my god! Sorry for you, honey. We gotta get our blue magic. So, sorry for you, Judge. <laughs> there has uh, to be a way. <laughs> I want to do this. If it, if my birthday is in this month. Uh, oh, it's June. just. Oh, okay. June. It's the month of June. Okay. So. Oh yeah, we got plenty of time. We got plenty of time. time. It sounds like some of the listeners they might have to hit you up to your email. <laughs> <laughs> hey, we can make this a thing. Hey, you can meet the, the Velvet Vibes film cast on, on Let's Say Wild Child Birthday. And it, hey, it'll be a whole bad. Oh, yeah. It'll definitely be a bad. I think he's saying you might get bashed. <laughs> I think that's what he's saying. Yeah, we we going to do some stuff. Uh, so, uh, hold on. You, you made me remember something. Ooh. Because uh, cause I'm, I'm going to wrap it up, but I had to ask, uh, ask y'all a question, another question, too. Uh-oh. Now, I got a homeboy that told me he never think about sex unless he drank it. Mm. He says sex. Hold on, hold on, wait, wait, wait. I've been drinking. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we had to do it for the night. We had to, bro. <laughs> <laughs> we had to get it in that Yeah. Man. She would have did it. She took, we gotta I know she would have. Yeah, we got to get that chick. <laughs> I know she would have. We got to cut that one. Exactly. My, uh, my homeboy said he never think about sex unless he drank it. And, you know, he's over 35. Mm-hmm. And my other homeboy, he told me he agreed. And then I noticed people always say when I'm, you know, when I'm drunk and etc. and everything like that, or I do this or I smoke some weed. Is are drugs required for sex now? How often? I'm not saying you don't like your whole that we old and your sex drive is gone. But honestly, like real talk, how often 
do you want to do it sober? Like when you're sober, how often do you think about it? Um, first of all, I think about sex. Three sixty six. Six is on my mind. We're gonna say three sixty nine. Okay. <laughs> Twenty four nine. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, talk about it. I'm just trying to get in where I fit in. I ain't gonna lie to you. Yeah. Um, but no, nah, uh, I think for guys, because I, I was. Is it because he's an older gentleman or is that how it is? Because, no. Because people, think about it. A lot of people say that. A lot, even females, they'd be like, I, like I said, I ain't saying you never want to do it, but you probably are more cool sober on right. sex than you are. Like when you, like when you're drinking, you are already sending out nasty texts. You are okay. already. Like, hey, what's up? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you start feeling the way. So when you just sober, chilling at the house, eating pancakes, okay. Do you do you think about it as much, or at this time in your life, like, okay, let's say it like this. All right. How much do you need sex? Not how much do you want it? Because if you want it, you probably want it every day. Right. But how often do you get to the point that you're like, look, I'm about to lose it. I don't, I actually don't get to that point. I know, to, for myself, I know that it comes and goes. Mm-hmm. I know that if I want it, I can get it. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? I know all of these things, um, without having to pay for it and all that extra shit stuff, you know, like, <laughs> no extra amenities or anything like that. Yeah. Really. So, um, I know that. Um, cause, I, cause he kind of got a point. Like, but like a guy can go without, but it's just, it's just one of those things where it's like, like I, you, you just beat your meat every day, or if you if you that type of person, or you just make sure you, that you're busy enough to where you ain't got to worry about it. Mm-hmm. Um, I'm busy enough to where I actually don't have to worry about it. Mm-hmm. So it's it's just it's really just a want. Like if mm-hmm. I know it, if I, if I need to put my energy into anything else, I could. Yeah. Um, and I feel like that's what any any male that you know because we we want sex, like you said, we want it, but it's not necessarily a need. Mm-hmm. So, when you say, hey, I want sex, then hey, go work out. And if you say, hey, I want sex, and hey, um, go put something into a, put that energy into something else, uh, business, mm-hmm. put that energy into uh, maybe going to sleep, maybe hey, watching a Netflix show that's going to catch your attention. Mm-hmm. Um, so, you get your focus elsewhere. You can, you can get your focus elsewhere. Learn a new trait, uh, learn a language. Um, anything of that nature, like you could put your energy elsewhere into. So at the end of the day, how often, what is the the time when you say, that's it? I'm about to turn a backflip off top of my apartment building. I give up on life. I have to. You know what? I think I can go like a, a max, like for real, for a max, like 90 days. Before you're like, yeah, no, this is like, I'm like, I'm like, all right, let me, let me see if I can. Muster up something. I mean, and even if I even if I have to go longer than that, it's 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 cool. But I know at that point, I'm like, mm, let me let me let me let me dip into something. Let me yeah. slide into something. <laughs> Some, yeah. Sometimes cocoa butter ain't gonna do it. Is what you say? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you at this point at ninety day mark, you probably done the stroke this many, <laughs> many, many strokes. Wow. You have as many different strokes as you needed to. You feel me? <laughs> yeah. So that's that's my thing. But I can do it. I just, like you said, just make the choice not to. Yeah. And, um, but I am learning to put my energy elsewhere. Oh, uh, I smell you. Scorp, how often do you need it? You have a certain smile on your face that concerns me. Oh, it concerns you? I'm re- oh, no. Oh. We listen. Me mm. <laughs> personally, I, I ain't gonna lie. I'm a man, so first and foremost, I, exactly. I think about it every day. You know, I might not get it every day, but you know, it crossed my mind. But like the wild child said, you got, if you can't get it, you got to focus on anything, any and everything else. You know, keep your mind off of it. You know, <laughs> if you know you can't get it that day, you got to focus on something else. Like I said, go to the gym, go yeah. play some basketball or something. Whatever you gotta do. Whatever you gotta do to keep your mind clear, you know what I'm saying? Keep yourself occupied. How often do you need it to make yourself so high? I mean, I don't went, I don't went a whole month, you know, without it. 
I'm when I was when I was when I was in a relationship, oh, yeah. I put it like that. Yeah. But without a relationship, I don't win like a year and a half without it. You mm-hmm. know, it was hard times. I ain't gonna lie. I ain't going a year and a half. I ain't going a year and a half. It was hard. It was I hard. You three years with it. Oh, like, I did. Yeah, I thought. I- was that the exact number, or it was two, or it was? It was like it was like two straight, straight. It was it was bad. Yeah, it was bad. I did, I, you know I, I did a year. I served my time. It was it was <laughs> it was after my divorce. So you just you weren't even thinking about that at the time. I feel you. Like I've been, I went, I went a year, but it's because I was living in a sketchy town where everybody was uh, sharing their genitalia with each other. So by <laughs> choice, I didn't. Like when, because I couldn't get it, or I had no guy came or nothing like that. I just was like, if this was the same town where I said that girl told me I had a baby yesterday and I'm ready to have sex today. Yeah. Like, oh, wow. stuff like that. Stuff like that made me be like, I do want to do it, but I think I, I like to live. I do like life. I, say, I, I don't want to die behind this. So <laughs> I say, well, my reason, you know, why I went a year and a half this before I met my baby mama. You know, I was, I was more focused on myself. You know what I'm saying? I was trying to get myself together. But see, they don't think us men do this. Yeah, because I, <laughs> I just got a, a, a good, I say good and bad relationship, but yeah. you know, I was more focused on myself, trying to get back on my feet like I want to, you know, focus on me and get my own self together. That's, that's my reason why I went a year and a half without it. The crazy thing, man, every time I ever been like, anytime I've been single, I never was like, not saying I wasn't looking at women at all, but I never was like, hey, hey, I'm trying to holler at you, I'm trying to holler at you, I'm trying to holler at you. Because I always thought about that, like, if, especially if I'm single and out of work or something, I'm like, I really can't do anything for you right now. I there's no need in us hanging out because you're going to get tired of coming over to watch a movie on Netflix. You're going to want to go out to eat and I can't help you. So, <laughs> side note. We're going to start out. We're going to start out with the vivid juggernaut. He, he jumping. He, he act like he got the itches right now. Something going on right now. He got the pee by the pee on his seal. So shout out to everybody. I'll listen. Shout out to everybody that pay attention to the group. Make sure to follow us on Facebook. Shout out to Lenopoly. You know what sound effect comes behind that. Shout out to Golden Knights. Shout out to the whole crew. If you're listening, you're doing right. Follow us on every platform. Follow us on Instagram. Velvet Vibes Pimpcast. No funny business. It's Velvet Vibes with a Z. It's all together. Velvet Vibes Pimpcast. Make sure to follow us. Big interviews coming up. Big shit coming up. 2019 going to be lovely. If you need to hit me up, hit me up at 100%velvet at gmail.com. If you need to give us a call and cuss me out, give us a topic, or just ask us a question, you can hit us at 210-580-4326. I be seeing some of y'all call the number. Don't forget, I'm not a celebrity. I be at work. Leave us a message. That's the point of that line. If you leave a message, we can put it right on the line. Put it on the show, and we can talk about it. But I have seen y'all. We wink in our eyes, and dot in our eyes, and cross in our T's. If you hear some water splashing, I had to pee. And what the hell? I ain't feeling <laughs> <laughs> That's what, uh, uh, this pissy ass. Um, shout out to the pissy motherfucker in the building. <laughs> oh, wow. Hey, this ain't booty, little boy. <laughs> but um, we do appreciate. I don't even know why he got sound effects while he peed. Yeah, right? like, uh, he just made like a Michael Jackson sound effect while he's pissing. I don't, I don't even know where to go with that. But anyway, um, to the people that's listening, loving, loving, and listening, thank you. Um, we couldn't ask for your appreciation enough. Um, we're still trying to grow this thing and with more things to come. Any ideas, anything that you got, the line's there. Our, our PimCast platform is here. We're here to stay. Um, 
just continue to uh, support. That's all we can ask for. Um, to the people in this cast, thank you for the opportunity to continue to do what we love to do, and that's talk shit and, uh, and have fun um, and value everybody's opinion. That's dope. You don't, you don't see that too often to where you can say what you got to say, how you got to say it. And everybody just says, okay, cool. We can agree to disagree and move on. Um, so nobody's pulling nobody's strings or calling nobody out of names or nothing like that. Um, that's what happens in the group. So appreciate the group 1000 uh, for keeping their show group. Hey. Um, and their composures and whatever they want to call it. Attitudes in check. That's what they want to call it. <laughs> Keep all that shit in check. We appreciate it. Um, continue to live the life you love. Love the life you live. Uh, we love that to the offspring in the building, Monopoly in our absence, Menace in his absence, all our guests that we had um, up until this point. We love y'all. Um, if you want to come back, please don't hesitate to come back. We definitely like to support any and everything that anybody is doing. So um, that's what we do. We are local. In, in, in San Antonio, Texas, but we want to be global mm-hmm. around the world. So um, don't continue to give us that support, and we can go as far as our, as our audience takes us. So um, to the offspring, everybody we know, much love. I said, watch out. Hey, they go ahead and bring it in, sport. We global. I sport, sport. <laughs> and DJ Kelly said, we global. Yeah, we global. First and foremost, I'm give a shout out to Lenopoly in her absence. You know, make that paper go. Make that paper. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Second of all, I'm give a shout out to all our springs around the board. You have to take a sip on that, huh? Yes. Yes, because I got a little one coming up real soon, about two weeks. My little one's birthday coming up about two weeks. She'll be five years old this year. Oh, there you go. So... I don't know. Think about, think about, think about making a trip back home for a birthday. I don't know yet. When, when you say that again? The 25th of this month. Okay. If not this month, at least go so, for the next month, man. So. Think about it. You know, give a shout out to the cookie lady, our number one supporter. Our number one supporter. Amen. You know, you know she tuning in every time. All the time, she tuning in. She's active. I say she's the most active person in the group. Yeah, she got her back. Than anybody. She, 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 anybody. She, she coming for that number one spot. <laughs> well, anyway, shout out to all the listeners. You know, if it weren't for y'all, like I said before, we wouldn't be doing this. You know, thanks. Shout out to everybody in the group. Y'all is live. Y'all is crazy as fuck. <laughs> you know what? I'm going to give a shout out to this other podcast member. We need to go on and do an episode with this cat. I know both of y'all are in the same predicament. You know, we need to have a very special topic about this. I think y'all is going to be two against two. You know, the booty eating episode. You know, I'm not, I'm not oh. with it. I'm not with it. I know the wild child's not with it either. So I think I got a special topic for that episode for that day. I'm just going to save it for later. Yeah. But you know what I'm saying? But give a shout out to everybody who's listening all around the world. 662, you know, San Antonio, all over Texas, the East Coast, the West Coast, the Midwest, overseas. You know what I'm saying? We, we in this thing. Like the white child said, we local right here in San Antonio. If you ever want to get on the show, want to be a part of the show, you know, you know where to hit us up. We got the hotline posted up all the time. You can hit anybody up in the group. You know what I'm saying? If you want to be a part of the show. Hey, man. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh. Uh, for being escort, we didn't do it. Um, you can get my email address. Uh, it's wildchild at gmail.com. On Instagram, it's SA Wildchild 210. So if you need to hit me up anywhere, uh, please do. Um, don't be afraid to send a message. I'm ready to rock. Hey, let's do it. Oh, if you want to hit me up. Oh, yeah, talk about it. I have the new email oh, now. Oh, 
This is what I've been waiting. The new for. email this now. This is what I've been waiting. The new email. You know the old email used to be as you must thirty two oh five at gmail dot com. But now you can hit me up on the Scorpion King thirty three oh five at gmail dot com. That is the Scorpion King at thirty three oh five at gmail dot com. I'm gonna tell Scorpion King right now. Those numbers are actually my favorite numbers. <laughs> <laughs> and I'll tell you why. 33 is my basketball number in high school, and 05 was my, well, 05 and the 6, but 5 was the number that I crossed my line in spring of 2009. Uh-huh. I use the 05, you know, that's the year I graduated, so I got, I got to keep that in remembrance, so. Amen. With that being said, you know what to do. Keep fucking with us, keep listening, and Stripped in the room, slide me the microphone, the game is through. Hold up something, yeah, you knew the mink is purple, got the mood. To all the listeners in the tribe, we're about to have some velvet vibes. In the house, gym of the ride, reach over and pull that wide. Now we gon' drop it on your mind. Don't let nothing or nobody steal the vibe. Velvet Vibes is the one that you can't pass If you ain't know the pimp cast on your ass You thought you were listening to it